Well, Taco, when I heard the name, I got hungry. Hola, bienvenido a otro episodio en Máquina. Mi nombre es Zack Lucero. Muchas gracias. The only thing the inventors of tacos and Boltaco have in common is they both speak Spanish, and that's it. The Boltaco is made in Spain. It's a company that started manufacturing two-stroke motorcycles from 1958 to 1983. Then in 2014, they announced their return. They are now into what they call electric-powered street motorcycles. It looks like a downhill bike with a motor complete with pedals and all. But to their eyes, it's a motorcycle with an electric engine. It's how I look at it also. I mean, I'm not a mountain bike guy. This caught my fancy, not only because it looks cool and different, but because of the words electric motor. Our world is getting warmer by the second. And by 2030, we need to eliminate 80% of fossil fuel and biofuel emissions or else our planet becomes warmer by two degrees. Two degrees, folks, means the whole world goes to shit. Okay, so how do you turn this thing on? Basically, you need this. So you just stick it there. That thing fires up. It's got three riding modes, sport, tour, and economy. Battery range will depend on the riding mode that you choose. Tour can get you about 75 kilometers, economy mode up, up to 100 kilometers, and with me, I was just using sport the whole time and hardly pedaling, <laughs> being the motorcycle guy that I am. And I got about 60 to 65 kilometers. And if you want to turn it off, you just uh, tap it. The motor is brushless, alternating current on the rear wheel, max power about 2 kilowatts, max speed is about 60 kilometers per hour, front brakes is hydraulic disc 203mm with 4 piston calipers, the rear would be the same except it would only have 2 piston calipers. Suspension is adjustable, inverted forks 180mm over at the front, the rear suspension has an adjustable mono shot, chassis is aluminum, great welds there, pretty good quality, 9 gear transmission plus overdrive, battery capacity is 1.3 kilowatts and it's gonna take you about 3.5 hours to get a full charge from empty. Riding position is towards mountain bike sensibilities but the feel of the throttle and stand screams enduro for me. Now imagine an enduro that you can manhandle. Bike trails are a cinch for the Brinko R. I mean you can pedal up with some extra power and just go crazy downhill. I mean look at me here just rip through the trails. So where am I going to use this bike? Now, as a daily commuter, it's great. It can go where our other two-wheeled brothers can't, since it's basically classified as a bicycle. There's no need for registration, a license plate, you don't, you don't even need a driver's license. It can behave like a pedestrian and go banqueta if you want, without ending up in the shame of fame game and social media. No entry? <laughs> I'm on a bicycle. The potential of this mode of transport and what it means for all of us is huge. First off, Boltaco got the electric engine right. It didn't feel like those cheap old China-made electric scooch which I've always been disappointed in. This felt sturdy and of good quality, with a battery holding its own. Of course, good quality comes with a price. 295,000 pesos. Did you hear me right? Yes, you did. 295,000 pesos for this. Now wait a minute and sit down. Recently, this painting got sold for over a hundred million dollars. This guy bought it. See where I'm getting at? Zack, ¿por qué una compra una pintura con una bicicleta? Because I can, when we're talking about money behind these two items and what it can add to your human experience. This painting I can't ride to work, nor will it make the world cooler, literally speaking. It'll just hang on my wall. The Brinko R obviously will have more purpose as far as I'm concerned, and I can hang it on the wall too. Point is, value can be very subjective. I too have a painting I did back in the 90s, which I call the Faceless Santa. It's Santa holding a baby Christmas tree with no face. I've been trying to sell this at $2 million. I don't know, nobody's buying. Maybe I gotta die first or something. But this is the value I place on my work, such as how Boltaco placed value on the Brinko R. 295,000 pesos can be cheap for some and expensive to others. So in situations like these, focus on the bike and see what it can do. And if you can afford it, then that's it. Boltaco has gone a long way. From two-stroke motorcycles to now clean green machines, the Brinko R represents so much in terms of what our priorities should be as a whole. Apart from the fact that yes, it's a fantastic two-wheeled specimen, 
you can have a lot of fun with this one without the guilt. Hi. Morning. Pi picnic kayo. Bata nimpa nimpo. Okay na. Oh.